Okay, first plug in the rotoverter motor with the start cap connected. Get it going up to speed. Disconnect the start cap. Okay, uh, it's drawing uh, 0.44 amps. Uh, and I have the ammeter hooked up. And uh, now what we want to do is uh, connect the other, the actual AC motor here so it starts powering it. And you'll know that when the amperage goes way down. So, so we'll do that next. Here's the AC hookup to the uh, AC motor right here. Two wires. Red, red and yellow. Power goes directly to the output of the uh, variac, which is plugged in, going to be plugged into the grid. And then the other wire, I have this AC cap 88 UF, great big one, in uh, series on one of the lines. And I couldn't get it to work unless I did this. And I put that, hear that hum? Because it's working like a generator, I don't have it plugged in. I put that on there. Okay, now here's what's interesting. Okay, now I've plugged in the variac right here, this white cord. The variac is about 76, 77 volts AC from the variac after I tuned down the voltage with it. Okay, here's how you get it to run. So right now I have the rotoverter motor, motor running, drawing 0.44 amps. I don't have this AC motor plugged in yet, but I do have the grid voltage kicked down to 76 volts with this Variac. And as soon as I take this red wire and connect it in here, I will then have the AC motor connected. So, here we go. Now look at how far down that dropped. So that means there's, it's working as a motor because now the rotoverter motor doesn't have to spin anything, more or less. So, now you know it's working. Here's the voltage of AC. So right now it's working as an AC motor, but I have both the rotoverter motor and the AC motor on the shaft running at the same time. So now I'm going to unplug the rotoverter motor. You can see this will go down to zero when that happens. And I'll do that right now. Okay, now it is running. The AC motor is running on AC from the uh, the uh, variac over there. I'm going to plug the uh, rotoverter back in. I want to show you how the what you have for voltage makes a difference. Let's say you drop this down to oh, say 42, 36. See now we got a lot of amps coming in so you know that that's not a good voltage to run this at so you bring it up see it's still now it's dropped and uh, I'm going to take it up to where we had it 76 77 down a little bit okay it's 0 0.06 so now I'll unplug the rotoverter And it's running. So, there's a AC motor design that works. It's uh, drawing a lot of amps right now. About two and a half amps or so. But it also has a lot of torque on that shaft. 
So I just got it going right now. I haven't really tuned it, but I did get it going. And uh, I don't have an 88 US cap. It's not going to work, uh, but I'm sure there's going to be a perfect size cap. But that's what I got it to work with right now. Also, the coils on the motor are in series, but then I paralleled the banks. So it's actually pretty low in feed, so that's why it's drawing a lot. So anyway, it's working, okay. Okay, I'm, right now the uh, AC power uh, from the grid is running this motor right now. It's on the shaft of this rotoverter motor, but the rotoverter motor's not plugged in. I have this variac here, and we're running on 61.2 volts, and it's 1.5 amps from the grid to the variac. And over here I have an 88 UF oil-filled AC cap that's in series on just one of the AC lines going to the motor. There's two of them. So this is running on AC at 61 volts and about 1.5 amps. Now, uh, I'm going to put this here so you can see.